Land once lush and productive is drying up. In the delta of Italy's once mighty river Po, drought has struck. 70% of the crop is gone, Frederica Vitali tells me. If it doesn't rain, you can see the plants are burning up. But this year, the rains didn't come. It's Italy's worst drought in 70 years. Her soya crop is all but gone. The drought has impacted a third of Italy's agriculture. It didn't rain much during the winter or the spring. Plus, Italy is going through an unprecedented heat wave. Those combined to create the perfect storm for Italian agriculture. Five major food producing Italian regions have declared a drought emergency. Three generations of Antonio Betsy's family have cultivated rice. We've never seen a drought like this, he says. Climate change here isn't a myth, it's reality. In the last 10 years, Antonio says, the area planted with rice has gone down almost 50 percent as a result of drought. Close to the sea, there is water everywhere, but not a drop to drink. In normal times, this is where the salt water reached in this river, about three miles from the Adriatic. But now, because of the drought, because of the low level of fresh water in the river Po, the salt water reaches about 18 miles inland, and that is having a disastrous effect on crops. Rodolfo Laurenti works for the local water authority, which closely monitors the flow and salinity of water in the Po Delta. The moment of real climate crisis, he says, is 2022. To ensure adequate drinking water, one local authority has resorted to renting expensive mobile desalination plants. Climate change means we have to be ready for emergencies like this, says Director Monica Monte. Elsewhere, the little fresh river water still available is used to save at least a portion of the rice crop. Uh, this type of drought. But climate scientist Ramon Amagno warns uh, it's too little and... It's too late. We, uh, what we can do now is try to reduce losses. And as this drought goes on, the losses will only mount. Ben Wiedemann, CNN, in the Po River Delta, Italy.